So far, we've opened up a single document inside of Illustrator, but you can, of course, open up more than one file. You can open up pretty much as many as you wish within reason. So let's look at some options available to us if we have two or more documents open. I'll head up to File, then go to Open. And it should take me back to the folder where I last opened up a file from. I'm going to open up a file called Brand Guide and then click on Open. So the artwork pops up on screen. I could always follow my own mantra of going to view and choosing fit all in window. I now know there's only one artboard in here and we get a series of logo spell to utilize. You'll also notice that this has now appeared in a new tab. It has its own document tab at the top up here called brand guide. The text is in white telling us that this is the document that we're working in and it's active. Documents that are open but not active will be shown in other tabs at the side and their text will be slightly darker grey. If you wish to jump to that file, you can simply hover over and left click on that tab. You go back to the file in the state that it was when you last left it. But there might be occasions where you wish to see two documents at the same time. And in that case, this is called NUP views, essentially splitting the view of your workspace. And it's done by going to the icon for arrange documents. And I left click on that, the pop up menu will show a series of rectangles. They're trying to emulate the way that you can split your documents on screen. Now, because I've only got two documents open, it's really showing me here that I can split them vertically or horizontally. Well, in my case, I'm going to choose the vertical option. Notice that they're both called two up. When I left click on this one, it splits the screen in half. So I now am still working in post Trek 01 and I could pick up my zoom tool, hold down the alt key and zoom out and I could work inside of there, but I could also then click on the tab for the other document. Why do we want to do this? Well, in some cases you might want to be able to look at other artwork rather than printing it out. You could have that on your screen in one half, work in the other half and try and work up something that looks similar. You could also just take content from one window, select it and drag it from one window to another to copy and paste. That is also really handy. If you want to go back to viewing just one document at a time and you can go back to arrange documents and that is found at the top left hand side and it's called consolidate all. When you left click on that, you're back to viewing just one file at a time in those tabbed headings across the top of the screen. And in this case, I'm going to close down brand guide by clicking on the X. You could also go to the file menu and you could choose close as well, but I'll click on the X and that leaves us with one document left. Go back to view, choose fit all in window. And I want to show you one other thing that you can do with multiple views. And that is multiple views inside the same document. So if I go to the window menu and choose new window, it creates a new tab rather like a different document, but these are both the same file. Now it doesn't really offer any clear benefit until you go back to arrange documents and you choose one of the end up options like we did before to split this vertically. Now I can have a view where if I zoom in on the left hand side window, I can see my artwork holistically. If I wish to, I could also zoom in really close to the details on the right hand side. So if you wish to, you could edit in fine detail in one window and you can then see those edits update live in both windows. So it's a really great way of being able to see how your main composition is coming along and then working in the nice kind of close up detail area of your artwork where you can get to all the fiddly bits of illustrators, handles, anchor points and shapes and elements. Again, when you're done up here, notice that this tells me this is poster Trek one and this is window one and the one on the left hand side is window two. So because it's the same document, you can close either one of these down. It won't ask you to say the changes until of course you decide to try and close down the very last tab in there. That's closing down the entire document. So those are end up views. Maybe not something you use all the time, but when you need them, they are really handy.